Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this one we're looking at the Creative Labs Outlier or Near Headphones. These are a lighter pair of headphones that are designed for the fitness market and have a whole host of different features that of course we'll cover on as we go through the video. Now they're available in black with silver text and white with orange text. They also come with six different color interchangeable bands that allows you to give your headphones your own personal color touch. So as we usually do, let's go through a few of the specs before we get into the box. So these have a frequency response from 20 hertz to 22 kilohertz, powered by two 32 millimeter drivers with neodymium magnets. It also features NFC as well if you want a quick pair with your Android device. You've got an option to use a 3.5 millimeter wide connection, Bluetooth, the built-in micro SD card slot, and also USB. You've also got a pretty good battery life as well with 10 hours of playtime. Built-in microphone if you fancy taking your calls through the headphones as well then also inbuilt controls when using the micro SD card playback. You can also pair these to an Android app that allows you to play back messages that you may receive through your phone that goes through the actual headset. Then there's a few more features we'll look at as we go throughout the video. Now, as you saw, the packaging for these is very similar to the H5s that we looked at previously. Behind where the headphones are sat in the packaging, you've got all the additional accessories, such as the manual, the additional five different color bands, a 3.5 millimeter cable for wired audio, and a micro USB cable for charging and playback. So here are the outliers themselves. The first thing I noticed was the sides were a little bit scuffed and this is where they didn't have a little protective piece of plastic on each side. That would be something that would be nice to have just to make sure they're nice and clean when you first get them. As I mentioned at the start of the video, they're extremely light. They weigh just 93 grams, which is 30 grams lighter than an iPhone 6, kind of as a comparison. So they weigh practically nothing at all. When I first read about how light they were, I did think maybe they've compromised on the quality of the material. But once I actually got them into my hands, you could tell that they are still built to be very strong, yet lightweight. So facing out on the right ear cup, we've got the main power button, which also doubles as the call answer button. Above that, we've got the little NFC panel, finished with a nice Chrome Creative logo. Now, as you'd expect, you've got adjustability for each side of the ear cups. Now where the ear cups are all one piece of plastic, there isn't very much flex to kind of get a exact angle in your ears. I didn't really find that to be much of a problem though. So there's a demonstration of the smallest to the biggest option you can have. So it will accommodate all different head sizes. Now there isn't any padding on the headband like you would generally tend to see, but that does help of course save the weight. And personally, I found it to be very comfortable even without it. Ear cups are nice and padded as well with nice leather ears. Then on the bottom of the right ear, we've got the USB, which is for playback and charging. Further around, we've got the microphone and the switch to choose what different kind of source you want to play from. Then further back in the other direction, we've got the volume controls, the micro SD card slot, and also controls to skip forward and back tracks. Then on the left side, we've got the 3.5 millimeter connection for wide playback. So if you press and hold the call answer button, that will turn the device on. The switch on the side is in Bluetooth as default, then it will go into pairing once it's turned on. Obviously connected by the normal Bluetooth methods on your phone or by NFC if you so wish. Once you've paired together, the blue will do a slower flash. The faster flash just indicates it's in pairing mode. Then switching over to the wide and USB modes, you do get different LED indicators to tell them apart. Then looking at the bands quickly, they are a little bit fiddly to put on and off, but you're not going to be changing them you know, every five minutes. You're going to pick one and stick for it for a little while, so it's not really too much of an issue. You put them on with the lip facing inwards just so it gets a nice snug fit around. They do claim that it does affect the bass frequency as well. Without them, it's supposed to get you a better depth of bass. Personally, I didn't find it that noticeable, so I just kept them on. Okay, so onto my thoughts on the headphones themselves. So in terms of audio, don't expect the world from these. You know, they're not meant to be audiophile headphones by any means. But then again, they're certainly not the cheapest you can buy either. You get a very good overall sound with quite good clarity, but nothing that really jumps out at you. Where they're very lightweight, they don't have quite the camping force to provide very deep bass. And as I said with the bands, removing them didn't really increase that either. I think the best way to sum them up for audio quality is they're great if you're not into your audio more than just general listening. For example, if you have a better pair of headphones that you listen to in the evening at home, you may pick these up and just think, oh, these don't sound good at all. As it goes without saying, all the higher end equipment allows you to notice all those little details and specific parts in songs that you wouldn't hear with cheaper equipment. But if you don't listen to higher end equipment and you're just a general consumer, then I reckon they would be okay. But if you're not one of those people that use that kind of gear and you're just a general consumer, I think they'll be okay. Now in terms of functionality, the micro SD card slot is personally something I wouldn't use. That may be very useful to people that like to run, uh, that don't want to be tied down to a phone as well. 
I know some people like to use smart watches to track pace, distance and their heartbeats and all things like that and um, without having to carry a phone that might be something good for them. If you ever see me running then I suggest you run too because it's probably the start of the apocalypse or something so that's something I would never use as I always have my phone with me. Although I could see them being very useful in the gym for some people as they're very lightweight you wouldn't notice they're there as much just allow you to focus more on what you're doing but then again there's the flip side of that where people like a lot more bass in their music to get them more motivated that's one thing that these may struggle with one thing you may notice there is no play and pause button on these when you do use the micro sd card slot you're literally limited to forward and back and then the volume controls there's no kind of option to pick a song so if you are using that slot i would recommend loading on songs that you know you really like and that you're happy to listen to um, because trying to go through a list of three four hundred songs to find the one you want every time just isn't going to happen now it did reach the claimed 10 hours battery life which i was very impressed with it's also nice to see the three and a half millimeter connection if you want to go wide if your battery does run out i do see some companies that make bluetooth headphones that don't include that jack which i think is a stupid move and that's down to for example using these headphones for five hours each day you'll get the 10 hours but if you use them for maybe an hour and a half or an hour for each day through the week you may not calculate it quite right and you'll go to use them maybe on a train or on the bus journey home find they're flat and obviously you've got no way of playing back music so having that 3.5 millimeter jack is just a nice backup measure but overall very good pair of headphones i would recommend them if you're looking for something specifically for fitness that is very lightweight and affordable i will put all the links for this down in the description box below if you want to get yourself a pair if you enjoyed this video and you haven't already please consider subscribing big thank you to your creative for sending them out for me to review and I'll catch you all in the next video.